Hey guys, King Kade here and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make accessories on Roblox. So let's get right into this. So first thing you want to do, go ahead and open up Roblox Studio and go over to plugins. So to do this, what you need to do is download two plugins. Both of the plugins will be linked in the description. You don't really need to download them, but it makes it so much easier. So, yeah, so both plugins will be linked in the description. The first one being the load character, which basically what this allows you to do is it allows you to type in anyone's name. So if you type in mine, which is King Kade 100 just like this my avatar will pop up and you can go ahead and spawn that in just like that go ahead and type in john doe just like this not with the e at the end just john doe because we're just trying to get like a simple avatar so just this one will work we want an avatar with like no accessories so this one right here will go ahead and work fine now what we're gonna do go ahead and right click it just like this and go down to where it says export selection and then just go ahead and export it so just go ahead and save it to a file so we're just gonna name this avatar just like this and we won't have to save it anymore there we go and and now what we're going to do, just hop over to Blender right over here. Now let's just go ahead and select all of this. Click X to delete everything. Now click file and then OBJ. And now go to where you saved it and then find it. So right here, avatar.obj. Let's go ahead and import it. Let's actually go ahead and click geometry, split by group. There we go. And now let's import it. And then it may be a little bit off-centered. So let's just go ahead and deselect it, select it. Let's go to the top view over here. Let's click G just to go ahead and center it in the middle. And there we go. Let's also go ahead and select the torso. So, highlight the entire thing and then just go set origin origin center of mass surface there we go now personally i'm just gonna rotate it 90 degrees on the z axis there we go and now we can go ahead and start creating the actual accessory so the accessory a and b whatever you want in this video i'm probably just gonna make a hat because a hat is pretty simple but just go ahead and create whatever accessory you want and now that you have the roblox avatar in here you can go ahead and like model the accessory however you want so i recommend this avatar because this is kind of the avatar shape that most people use but you can always go ahead and kind of swap out the avatars but this one is good for the head so let's go ahead and click shift a and let's add in a cylinder just like this since we are going to make a hat let's just move it upward and now this is pretty good now let's go ahead and click tab h select all let's click s z to scale it on the z axis now let's just go ahead and kind of move it down and i'm not going to make a super detailed hat or anything because this is just a tutorial but if y'all want me to i can make some tutorials later on of how to make some like actual good ugc items but in this video i'm just kind of mostly showing y'all how to make them in roblox studio but yeah, we were just making a simple hat right now. So let's go ahead and move this down. And all right, that doesn't have to be perfect. I would say about right there is good. Now let's go ahead and click Control R, add a loop cut in the middle. Go ahead and scale that up maybe. And I'm not really sure kind of what hat I'm going for. So I'll just go ahead and kind of figure it out while I'm doing it. And actually, I decided I'm going to go for kind of a UFO looking hat. Now we're going to go ahead and click Shift D to duplicate it, scale it down, and then just go like this, which actually might be easier just to add a spear for this. And I'm just gonna add in a spear because I want a circle and this is a circle right here let's go ahead and scale it down and let's just move it towards the middle a little bit so there we go let's go ahead and just make sure it's centered and yeah I would think that's pretty good actually this could be kind of a dome with maybe like a planet or something inside so that would be pretty interesting like an invisible dome around a planet and yeah I think that's actually what we're gonna go for let's go ahead and make sure it's centered let's go ahead and hold down control just move it up a little bit and probably hold down Z go into wireframe and let's just highlight down here actually probably around right here there we go now let's go ahead and click x delete those faces hold down z again go back into solid view let's go ahead and grab this and then let's just move it back down so there we go so this would probably be transparent though but for now what we can do let's go ahead and go over here let's actually select this select it p selection and now let's select it go into tab now go all n and let's flip it so to see that we flipped it we actually have to go up here and turn on back lace cooling and there we go now it kind it looks like a dome so this is what it's looking like let's actually go ahead and smoothen it over here let's go auto smooth and if you don't have the newest blender update you might have to go ahead and click shade smooth but just click that go down to this little triangle right here go to normals and click auto smooth there we go and there we go so there's our little dome now we need to go ahead and add a small civilization in the middle so to do that we're just going to go ahead and model some simple houses real quick and also for your ugc item you probably don't want it to have too many vertices so make sure everything is kind of like simple and after a few minutes this is what we have i was gonna add like an entire city in there but then i got too lazy and decided that was too much work so i just added this small little thing kind of looks like a barn kind of thing so and we are about to finish it off the last thing to do is color it but before we do that i just want to go ahead and select these the front ones over here there we go the four blocks and then the back ones there we go and now i'm just gonna go ahead and click i to inset them and then alt e extrude them along normals and then extrude them inward just a little bit just to add a little bit more detail and now what we're gonna do we're just gonna go ahead and select everything 
everything. Actually, before we select everything, let's color everything. So let's go to shading over here. Let's click on new and then just to add it in your color palette. And now once you enter your color palette, just go ahead and connect it like that to the color to base color over to UV editing. And this is my color palette right here. Also, if you don't have a color palette, just like DM me on Discord or something and then I'll send the color palette to you if you need one. But what I recommend doing is just looking up on Google, type in blender color palette and then something like this should pop up. But if you can't find it, then just let me know. So what we're going to do over here, just hold down Z, go to material preview. And now what we're going to do, let's actually tap out edit mode, hold down control and let's move this up a little bit. Maybe just like two. There we go. Just so we can see the insides. Now over here, let's go ahead and select the grass, click A, select all. Let's go over here. Let's click U, then project from view. Now let's go ahead and click SY. No, not SY, SX. There we go. Just squish them all together and then now SY and scale them up. And let's just go ahead and put them maybe right there. I think that's pretty good. And now all of those are colored. We're pretty much doing the same thing with everything else. Just click in new and then add in the color palette. Actually, what we can do is we can just go like this. There we go. So, so just add in the color palette and then texture everything. And after you textured everything, go back over here to layout. Select this right here. Let's just go ahead and move it back down. There we go. Now let's hold down Z, material preview. So this is what it's currently looking like, which it should be fixed. Let's actually go back into solid. Let's go over here and let's go to texture. There we go. So it should look like this, but just brighter. Once we go ahead and bring it into Roblox. Now what we're going to do, let's just select everything. Let's actually select this as the base. Select everything else besides this person right there. There we go. Now let's just go ahead and click control J just to join everything together. And there we go. Now everything is put together just like this. And it is scaled correctly with the Roblox avatar. Now what we're going to do, go ahead and select your item. So we're going to select this right here and then export it as an FBX. And over here, just name it whatever. We're just going to name it like world hat or something. Yeah, that should work. Now go over here where it says limit two. go selected objects only, click export. And now we go ahead and hop back over here to Roblox. And in workspace, go ahead and click the plus, add in a mesh. So just like this, a mesh part. Go ahead and select the mesh part. Go down to where it says mesh ID. Click the folder icon. Click on your hat right here. Let's go ahead and select it. It doesn't even have to be a hat, just any accessory that you made. So this is it right here. It is absolutely giant. Let's go ahead and turn off the cast shadow. Let's go ahead and scale it down. So the scale it down it looks like we hold it all. It used to be shift, but they did change like the controls in Roblox Studio. So it is a little bit different. Now, once you have this, go over here to plugins. And you should have downloaded both plugins, the load character plugin from the beginning of the video and also the UGC plugin. So the UGC plugin is actually called the asset creator plugin. And it is this one right here. Also, by the way, if the plugin doesn't show up immediately, you probably just need to like close and reopen Roblox Studio. But yeah, here it is right here. It doesn't really have an icon. Go ahead and click on it and go ahead and click accessory just like this. And we actually need to select the part. So select your part, the mesh part right here. Click accessory, click next. There we go. Next once again. And now you have to go ahead and click a character that the part is aligned to, which that is also why we need to go ahead and align it with the character beforehand, which it's not perfect to be honest, but it works. So make sure that it is aligned with character like this. It's pretty aligned. So make sure that it is actually touching the character as well. So let's go ahead and select it, John Doe, and go ahead and select whatever thing that is. So if you're making like wings, then it would be like a back attachment. If you're making like a shoulder pal, then it'll probably be like a left shoulder or right shoulder attachment. But we're making a hat, so we're gonna go ahead and select hat right there. And then we are gonna go ahead and click classic. The next once again, and there we go, it made our accessory. And for some reason, it made it absolutely giant. But as you can see, we can't select it. We actually have to go over here, go down to handle, and now we have to go ahead and scale it down. So let's hold down alt, let's scale it down, not all the way down, there we go. Just scale it down just enough. I think that's the same size. Let's actually grab this one down here. Let's move it up just so we can compare the sizes. And all right, so it does look like we need to scale this one down a little bit more. So let's select over here. Let's scale it down. And there we go. We now have our accessory. You can also name it whatever. So we're just going to name this like world hat, just like this. And we now have our accessory right there. And if you go ahead and look at it, here's the accessory. Here's the mesh. And then it already put in all the attachments and everything. I also recommend checking the attachments before you go ahead and like submitted and all that stuff because if you guys take a look at this the hat attachment right here it is a little bit too high up so what we need to do if i can even zoom in there we go we need to go ahead and move this down so this is like where the top of the character's head will be sitting so we want the top of the head to be about right there there we go and how you can test this is you can go ahead and click play to so go ahead and play the game and then here is the person right here with the thing on top of the head we can always change the attachment later so it is kind of like directly on top of the head but if you want to see it on your avatar what you can do go ahead and make sure you're in play click on this one right here the current client and then you'll still be playing but you can like edit stuff so click on workspace click on john doe because that's like what the accessory is on right now and just go ahead and grab the accessory and move it down to your player so we're, our player is currently 
right here, King Kid 100. So just move it down. And as you can see, it's now on our person, which I'm currently wearing tons of accessories. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete those accessories off of my person right now. So this one, this one, and this one. And there we go. Now it's just our accessory, which actually I probably shouldn't have deleted those eyes. Yeah, I am wearing headless right now. So yeah, you can't really see my head, but there it is. Yeah, my avatar isn't really a good avatar to test it on because we can't really even see the top of my head right now. But there's the accessory. It actually looks a lot better than I thought it would. This accessory would actually look good on the catalog. Of course, if I were to upload it, I would definitely make it a lot better because it is a little bit like under detailed. But yeah, that's how you make accessories. And if you want to upload this accessory to the UGC catalog, how you have to do that is you have to go to like the Roblox dev. You have to apply. It's like this whole process. If y'all want me to make a video on how y'all can apply to be a UGC creator, let me know and I'll show y'all how to do that. Yeah, that's how you go ahead and create accessories though. So if you want to create accessories for your game or you're doing like a commission or anything, that is how you do it. So yeah, so that's gonna be all for this video. So go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications and I'll see y'all in the next video.